West Ham fans poured out of London Stadium before half-time after going 4-0 down to Arsenal. David Moyes' side collapsed after going 1-0 down via William Saliba's 32nd-minute header. A bonkers 15-minute capitulation followed, leaving fans shell-shocked. Bakayo Saka dusted himself down to convert a 41st-minute penalty, having been brought down by Alphonse Areola after running onto a through ball. Gabriel Magalhaes then nodded home Hammer's old boy Declan Rice's free kick on 44 minutes. Leandro Trossard bagged Arsenal's fourth two minutes into first half stoppage time. Read more on ARSENALPIER Pressure Peers Morgan slams Arteta's ridiculous Arsenal team to face West Ham Fab £30 Get £30 in free bets when you place any amount on any sports market with Skybet This prompted rarely seen images of home fans streaming out of London Stadium before the halftime whistle had even sounded. Sky Sports pundit Roy Keane described West Ham's performance as an absolute disgrace. The Irishman fumed, West Ham have been shocking and frustrating. I can't believe what I'm watching, the way they're getting beat. West Ham the last 10 to 15 minutes has been an absolute disgrace. Most read in football red alert Arsenal hit by injury crisis with four players ruled out of West Ham clash FER real. Fergie's TV interview abruptly cut short after he breaks Sky presenters heart dial me up Diallo snubs X-Man United boss as two new clubs lead race for Red Devils starlet tough Cal Calvin Phillips reveals Guardiola's overweight jibe was his toughest moment how to get free bets on football there's a way to lose a game of football but the way West Ham are doing it they look slow, they look sluggish in midfield, they're running back. There's no desire and no hunger. David Moyes must be fuming at half-time. Roy Keane slams West Ham as a disgrace after first-half performance against Arsenal All credit to Arsenal, they've flexed their muscles, they look sharp, they look at it. West Ham, disgrace. Former England striker Chris Sutton took to social media to criticise West Ham fans who voted with their feet. He wrote, true football fans don't leave the game at half-time. Moyes responded to his side's woeful first-half display by hooking booked midfielder Edson Alvarez, throwing January signing Calvin Phillips on in his place. Arsenal fan Piers Morgan had been fuming with Mikel Arteta's selection, lamenting the decision to drop one star in particular. He tweeted, My preferred front three, but benching Jorginho after his mom performance versus Liverpool is ridiculous. Arteta's love for Havertz is a massive blind spot. Morgan, 58, later stuck the boot into West Ham fans, adding, so classless of West Ham fans to incessantly boo Declan Rice after all he did for their club. West Ham's humiliating afternoon continued in the second half. The Hammers failed to get any foothold into the game, and Saka lashed home his second on 63 minutes. Read more SUN stories sussed it. Masked singer fans, unmask, Eiffel Tower as huge international superstar dating hell my love life is disaster, Love Island made me nervous about dates, says India Rice then belted home a screamer barely two minutes later, refusing to celebrate against his former side.
that would be his final contribution, being replaced by forgotten man Mohamed Elneny before the game got back underway. Arsenal News Live, stay up to date with all the latest transfer news from the Emirates.